So guys, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to be doing another upgrade to the WRX. Well, an interior. I think it's the only interior thing I've done to this car. It'll be the only interior thing. But I actually bought a head unit, uh, an eye doing head unit from WRX Daily. Uh, it's essentially a bigger screen with Apple CarPlay. Um, the only thing that sucks is I will be getting rid of the carbon. I'm not sure if it's real or fake. It's probably fake from WRX. Uh, but I like how, I like the way it looks and then it matches kind of with that other, other piece right there. But yeah, I think it's a piece from right here from the top to the bottom. So I'll be getting rid of the carbon and then it's a bigger screen. It has Apple CarPlay. And then I actually bought new speakers as well. I don't have them in yet. I'll be showing you guys a before and after. Um, I bought new speakers and new tweeters from Alpine. I think those were from a shop here in Oxnard. Um, and then the head unit again I bought from WRX Daily. I can link that down below if you guys need that. I'll be showing it to you guys right now. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you guys um, the setup that I have going on in case you guys want to get something similar. Um, so again, this is the iDoing head unit. I'll take it out in a bit. My friend Chris is actually going to come help me install it. So I think like 5.30 already. He's going to come at 6. Uh, so he's going to help me install this. And then I bought this, I think from Brick, uh, I think sounds good stereo, I think it is. Uh, but I bought this tweeter and then um, uh, the speaker setup from, uh, it's from Sounds Good Stereo. It's an Alpine setup. And here it is in case you guys want to get that. And then this whole iDo unit uh, came with this. I guess it's like for microphone and all the backup camera and all that good stuff. Um, I did buy these. I guess these were necessary for the like conversion to these new tweeters. I bought them from Amazon. Here's the name of them. And then I bought also adapters because the ones that come in the WRX stock do not fit uh, aftermarket uh, tweeters. Chris has those right now because he ended up cutting them because the these uh, tweeters didn't fit that one. Uh, but I'll be showing you guys right now. I'll start taking apart some of the stuff inside the car. Uh, so you guys can kind of see and get an idea of how to uh, do it yourself as well. Uh, so I'm going to start off by taking off these. Uh, these are the covers for the tweeters. Uh, obviously uh, one on each side. And basically what you do is just pop it out from here. And then under the screws uh, holding down the tweeter. I'll show you guys in a bit. I didn't realize, I guess, why as to why I was even getting a new speaker set up in the first place. And it's because actually my left speaker on my yeah, on my driver's side is popped. And I didn't even show you guys, I guess, I guess like my, my setup right now. So right now it's just uh, stock Subaru speakers. I have a 2015 uh, WRX Premium. And then I have the, the stock head unit right now. This is how I bought the car. I'm not sure if the carbon's OEM or not. But this is how I bought it. I bought it like a... A year and a half ago it comes with this little carbon and the rest i'll show you guys i got the little super right there and then just bluetooth which is pretty boring to me honestly i'm so i, I don't like uh screens either just because you have to deal with all the electro electronics and stuff messing up um but yeah this is the basic setup and then i'll play a song that's not um that i guess it's, it's not uh um, copyrighted I put something for you guys really quick. It's a cumbia, just because I know like um, one thing is also with these stock speakers is that um, the bass is like trash. And I'll show you guys. I put a cumbia, so it's pretty. Like, there it is. I'll, I'll put a little bit of it just so I don't get copyrighted. It. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that thing is blown. So every time I put music up, uh, it rattles really bad. And what I do too, I, if you have the same thing and you don't have like the money, I actually, it took me a good while to save for that, uh, for the whole setup that I have right now. But if you don't have like money to upgrade like pretty soon, you can just click on your, like I guess to adjust your stuff and then lower your bass all the way and it'll sound at least a little better because you'll have the voice. Uh, but yeah, I guess that's my biggest reason for upgrading my head unit and my speakers. Uh, the speakers I was told they wouldn't function as good if you didn't have a good head unit because you wouldn't be able to adjust everything like the bass and the voice and all that stuff. Uh, so that's one reason I was waiting to put both together. And I'll show you guys the rest right now of me taking apart um, the tweeters right now. And then I'll, I'll try a little bit of what else I can do because I don't want to break anything. But I'll give you guys an update. So guys, I don't know where I left off this last video because... Oh, the last clip at least because... Um, I had a bunch of issues with um, 
with the i doing head unit um and i was trying to get with wx daily which uh, was where i bought it from but he wasn't getting back to me which was kind of getting me annoyed and this is like three days later i finally have it and you guys can check it out see how that looks it looks really oem it's from the pieces from right here from up top uh to the very bottom um so all these little pieces like the little vent uh your emergency button uh the little toggle button um your controls for the ac and stuff like that all that transfer from the old um center piece right here to the new one so this piece again is from right here to right here and i'll show you guys it start up it starts up right away and it's actually very responsive which is like the thing i really like Oops. so right there um i still have to figure out how to make it um wireless because right now i do have to connect it to be able to run apple carplay in this car um, but here I'll show you guys the home screen. So this is how it is when you open it. Uh, it's, it's actually really clean. It's really responsive. Uh, so you see I click everything. The bot uh, volume goes up really quick. Um, here are all your stuff right here. I'm still learning how to use it. Uh, but you do have your YouTube. Uh, let's see. Uh, you do have your YouTube. Um, you have your music player, your navigation, all that stuff uh, for you to be able to use it. And then car link is right here. If you have Apple CarPlay wireless or um, I guess wired as like for me for now, that'll be right here. I mean, like, let me connect my phone really quick and I'll show you guys how that works. Okay, one second. And actually the way that I was able to make this head unit work with my car, um, or I guess even get it installed because I was so close to getting it off and then sending it back to uh, WRX daily was uh, I contacted iDoing and they actually are very responsive. If you text them on DM, uh, they'll actually get to you really fast, which is oh, what I really liked. Uh, here's a setup, it looks really, really nice. You guys can see that. And I, what I like is not too big, it's not, uh, like it's nothing crazy. So you have your phone, uh, your music, you can go to your music right away. And it's really cool, you can control everything. Um, you can go to your playlist. Uh, have, I listen to a lot of Spanish music, so there's that. Um, like I said, it's really responsive, which is uh, the cool thing about it. It doesn't lag or anything like that. Um, as of like, right, I just got it installed like three days ago. So right now it is acting like, like it's brand new. Obviously it's still kind of learning everything. Uh, so sometimes this will shut down, which is kind of weird, but it hasn't done it since like, well it happened yesterday, but again, it's new. So it hasn't happened today at all. But yeah, again, here's everything. I haven't really got to learn it that much. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, you guys can leave them in the comments and then I'll get back to them. And then I'll kind of make a video just on the head unit alone. But as of now, like, I just kind of wanted to show you guys um, the head unit and my new sound. I think this goes really uh, good together. So again, I have, um, I showed you guys in one of the clips, I think, with the speakers that I got from uh, Alpine. So I have uh, two door panel speakers and then I have the tweeters. And then I got the head unit installed and I'll put a song really quick, um, just really quick, just so I don't get copyrighted, but it sounds really good. I'll go to playlist, I'll go to my rap, uh, make sure volume's down, so. I've been done right through another nigga city, I got a brand new Draco with me. Yeah, so it sounds really good. I don't want to play too much because I don't want to get copyrighted, but yeah everything looks really clean um what i like is it has a little film right here i'm, I'm not gonna take it off i don't plan to take it off because even this little screen protector is already pretty scratched and i don't want to have my screen all ugly um yeah but i mean here it is guys if you guys want to leave any comments or any, any questions or anything about the head unit i'll go ahead and leave them i'll get to you guys uh pretty quick um so far i've been loving it uh, music the, like I like I would suggest getting speakers or oh, even if you decide to just get speakers first before your head unit I would wait to pair both together because you're you're able to control the speakers more now that you have the head unit so if I go to home I am on my home page over here and then you're able to these are my controls right now so Chris the guy who installed it for me this is how he left them I mean you guys can copy them if you guys want if you guys have the head unit Or screenshot that or something but yeah this is how he has them and i really like them it sounds really clean all around i didn't get the back ones yet just because it got pretty pricey i mean i don't have the money for everything yet but 
It sounds really good. I really like it. Um, again, just uh, for your abs, they're right here. And you go back to home again. For my Apple CarPlay, I'll go right here, Car Link, and then I'm there. And there's your home page. Yeah, that's pretty much everything. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to comment. Um, and go ahead and give it a like. Thank you.